Hey friends, welcome. Today we are going to discuss over voltage and it is also one of the topics from electrochemistry. So from our knowledge of the EMF series, we all know that whenever we are applying certain amount of opposing potential or certain amount of opposing EMF to any particular cell, then its cell reactions, they are reversed. Okay. That means that suppose I am having uh, say uh, a galvanic cell or a voltic cell. So in a galvanic cell, uh, the cell potential is around 1.1 volt. So if I apply 1.2 volts, then the cell reactions will be reversed. That is um, on the electrode wherein oxidation will be taking place. It will be reduction will take place and on the electrode wherein reduction will take place oxidation will take place so and the difference in the current is very small so uh, suppose again uh, we consider one more example uh, that is we are having a cell uh, which is made up of an hydrogen half cell wherein uh, hydrogen gas is bubbled at one atmosphere and that is dipped in a hcl solution whose activity is unity and on the other electrode say oxygen gas is bubbled at one atmosphere okay so this is our cell and the voltage of this cell again it is around 1.12 volts so in order to reverse the reactions of this particular cell we may require say one point uh, I we may consider 1.17 volt or 1.12 volt maximum not more than that that means okay, in order to start the evolution of hydrogen and oxygen which may require this much amount of voltage but many a times it is observed that the gas evolution it starts it does not start at a bit higher voltage but the generally the opposing voltage required is very large uh, say over here in this case we may require voltage of 1.7 volt in order to reverse this particular reaction so thus this excess that is when we take the difference uh, the difference comes out around 0.5 8 volt so this excess of voltage which is required to reverse any particular cell reaction it is known as over voltage okay so over here so the over voltage it may be defined as the excess of voltage over the voltage of the cell that is necessary to reverse any reaction is known as over voltage and over voltage can be further broadly classified into two categories one is hydrogen over voltage one is hydrogen over voltage and second is oxygen over voltage okay so this excess of voltage which is required to reverse any particular cell reaction it is known as over voltage so now moving on to the hydrogen over voltage in case of hydrogen over voltage uh, suppose again we consider the same system uh, so over here when electrolysis is carried uh, is carried out then the liberation of hydrogen will be at higher potential and the difference in the potential at which hydrogen gas actually evolved and the theoretical value at which it happens it is known as hydrogen over voltage uh, that is suppose theoretically, theoretically uh, we can know or we know from uh, the uh, we can know from our emf series that is the theoretical reversible potential can be known from electrochemical series and the actual liberation when it starts when we perform the actual electrolysis so the difference between the actual and the theoretical one it is known as the hydrogen over voltage and generally in case of a platinized platinum the hydrogen and at and at zero current density the hydrogen over voltage it is zero okay and uh, in teffel teffel in 1905 he gave a relation to measure the hydrogen over voltage at mercury at mercury electrode and this 
solution or the solution which is freed from oxygen it is freed from oxygen and over mercury electrode so the hydrogen over voltage it is given by i is equal to k e raised to minus beta v where i is our current v is the potential at the cathode or potential of the cathode and k is an empirical constant and beta over here beta it is given by f by to R T. Okay. Now further, when we simplify uh, this particular relationship, uh, we will have ln, or we can take ln on both hand sides. So I will have ln of I is equal to ln of K minus this will become beta V. And again, I can substitute the value of beta over here. So we will have ln of K is equal to V F pi to R and again when we differentiate this relationship differentiation this will be dln of i this is constant so this will be 0 and again 2rt and f are constant over here so we will have minus minus of tv f by 2rt and this can be further rearranged as minus dv upon dln i that is equal to we will have 2rt by f okay and again this ln can be converted into log and hence we will have minus tv upon d log of i that is equal to 4.606 rt by f and further suppose if we consider that at 18 degree centigrade the value of this relation that will be 116 volts so at 18 degree centigrade the value is that is change in the potential with respect to the current it is 0.116 volt at 18 degree centigrade so this expression or this value it shows that the cathode potential it becomes 0.116 volts more negative each time we increase 10 folds increase in our current density so each 10 fold increase in the current density will reduce the cathode potential by 0.116 that means it will increase the hydrogen over voltage okay now moving on to the oxygen over voltage this oxygen over voltage again this uh, cathode over voltage or cathode is sorry hydrogen is generally liberated at cathode and oxygen will be liberated at anode okay so oxygen over voltage it can be defined as at anode the practical value at which the oxygen evolution starts minus the theoretical value that is minus the theoretical value will give us our oxygen over voltage and oxygen at anode oxygen is liberated but at a more positive value and then the calculated value and this difference is known as our oxygen over voltage and generally it is observed that metal which possesses higher hydrogen over voltage it will have lower oxygen over voltage so metals which have higher hydrogen over voltage will have lower oxygen over voltage and similarly metals having higher oxygen over voltage will show lower value of the hydrogen over voltage okay few example uh, that is suppose we take uh, the example of platinized platinum then its oxygen over voltage is 0 0.00 and hydrogen over voltage it is 0. 25. Similarly, for iron, the oxygen over voltage is 0 0.08, while that of hydrogen over voltage is 0 0.25. Similarly, for nickel, the oxygen over voltage is 0 0.21, and the hydrogen over voltage is 0 0.06. So, the metals which have lower oxygen over voltage will have higher hydrogen over voltage and metals having the higher sorry lower 
hydrogen over voltage will have higher oxygen over voltage now moving on to the method to measure over voltage so in order to measure the over voltage this is our general setup uh, wherein uh, we have taken an HF cell having our electrolyte and our experimental solution now in this HCL set two electrodes A and B are dipped whose cross-sections are known and these electrodes are connected to a battery C with the help of a reversible or sorry with the help of a variable resistance D and the current flow over here it is measured with the help of a galvanometer or ammeter E okay so the current through this cell will be measured by this M galvanometer E and then this cell is then connected to the reference cell or it is connected to a generally calomel cell is used as a reference cell so or calomel electrode is used in, as a reference cell so over here G is our calomel electrode sorry my drawing is not very good so uh, G is our calomel electrode and this is our salt bridge wherein salt bridge it is it connects uh, both the cells and then the potential of this particular cell is determined by the potentiometer okay now suppose if we want to measure the over voltage of a what we need to do is we need to supply certain amount of uh, potential or so vary this um, reho state and certain amount of potential will flow and the emf across this cell will be measured by the potentiometer okay now we got the emf we know the potential of this okay we know we know the potential of calomel electrode also the reversible potential of our cell e sorry cell a it is known from emf series okay emf series so the observed pot whatever the observed potential will be this observed potential minus so the emf of our standard calomel electrode is known observed emf is known so whatever the difference will be will give us the emf of our cell a now whatever the potential is obtained that potential when we subtract it from the reversible potential as observed from the electrochemical series the difference which we get is the over voltage or over potential of our cell or of our electrode a similarly if you want to know the over voltage of our electrode b it can be combined again in it can be combined with this and we can measure the over voltage of our electrode b also and this experiment can be repeated with different currents uh, used for the electrolysis and the over voltage with different current densities can thus be obtained and okay and the area of the electrodes is also known so from the area of electrode we can know the current strength and current strength is known and from the milliammeter and hence the current density or the current density can also be calculated very easily so with the help of very easy setup we can easily measure the over voltage whether it be hydrogen over voltage or it may be the oxygen over voltage hope the explanation is clear thank you very much